they are neglectful of their families, damaging the traditional home life and threatening the natural order of things. This is how opponents describe women who demanded the right to vote a hundred years ago. Now, few people would argue against the legitimacy and benefits of women's suffrage. It is not only a matter of justice. Evidence demonstrates that women's rights to vote coincide with increased social spending, a drop in child mortality, and higher numbers of children staying longer in school. Today, women and girls who fight for equality still face criticism. Whether they demand access to contraception, equal inheritance, or an end to sexual harassment, they are often accused of undermining tradition, the family, culture, and religion. They may be ridiculized, threatened, and at times viciously attacked. We know from history that the fear of challenging culture and tradition should not hold us back from achieving more just, prosperous societies. Slavery was considered tradition. Some call apartheid part of culture. Torture was once a commonly accepted practice. Women and girls' demands for equality are just as legitimate as the struggle against those violations, and they're just as important to enabling our societies to thrive. I honor the generations of women and girls who have transformed our societies by defending human rights. I pay tribute to those who are today on the front lines to win hearts and minds against cruelty and for dignity. I ask you all to stand by women's human rights defenders and to respect their goals, their courage and dedication. I hope you will share the stories and engage in critical conversations on what genuine equality looks like with an open mind and an open heart. Be on the right side of history. Stand with her.